four in front of us right here. It is the solemn obligation of parents to give their children the instruction and correction that belong to a Christian upbringing. Parents should be examples of Christian life and conduct, caring more for their children's salvation than for their jobs, their profession, their ministry in the church or social standing. It is the responsibility of you two to give Braylon the upbringing that prepares her for a life pleasing to God. It is the family, not the church or the church school that is primarily responsible for the biblical and spiritual training of children. Church and church school can only assist in a firm parental training. The very core of Christian nurture is this. The heart of the father must be turned to the heart of the child in order to bring the heart of the child to the heart of the Savior. In bringing up their children, parents should show no favoritism, should encourage as well as correct, punish only, defiance or intentional wrongdoing, and dedicate their lives to the love of their children with hearts of compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. And at this time, I'm gonna ask my wife to read a couple of scriptures that pertain to the dedication of Braylon Noel Keith. Amen. I charge the parents with Psalms 127, Verses 1 through 5. Except the Lord build the house, they labor in vain that build it. Except the Lord keep the city, the watchman waketh but in vain. It is vain for you to rise up early, to sit up late, to eat the bread of sorrows, for so he giveth his beloved sleep. Lo, children are an heritage of the Lord, and the fruit of the womb is his reward. As arrows are in the hand of a mighty man, so are children of the youth. Happy is the man that hath his quiver full of them. They shall not be ashamed, but they shall speak with the enemies in the gate. I also charge you with Proverbs 22 and 6. Train up a child in the way that he should go. And when he is old, he will not depart from it. Amen. So thank you. Thank you. So at this time, we are going to, we are going to pray a prayer of dedication of Braylon back unto the Lord. And I'm going to ask that my wife anoint the parents and the child. And after you finish anointing the parents and the child, give uh, Braylon to me so that we may pray a prayer of dedication and consecration. The anointing is a symbol of God's presence. Uh, the anointing uh, is a symbol, the anointing oil is a symbol of God's presence upon the thing that's been anointed. And so, uh, Braylon Noel Keith, the scripture says that in 1 Samuel, when 1 Samuel, come on, my baby, come on, this is Papa, this is Papa, this is Papa. I want to, I want to read something coming from 1 Samuel 1 and 22. 1 Samuel 1 and 22. I want to show you something as uh, in verse number when Hannah was promised uh, a child unto the Lord. The Bible says, but Hannah went not up for she said it to her husband, 
I will not go up until the child be weaned, and then I will bring him that he may appear before the Lord and there abide forever. All right, this is Papa. We're going to get through it. I know it. We're going to get through it. And then in Luke chapter 1, verse number 21, when, when Jesus, even the example of Jesus, Mary and Joseph, and Jesus, chapter, Luke chapter 1, verse number 1, in verse number 21 and 22, uh, the Bible says that Zechariah, uh, as Zechariah had John the Baptist, that John the Baptist was presented unto the Lord. And also, the Bible stated that Jesus, at the time of Jesus' birth, he was also presented unto the Lord. And so at this time, we're going to pray a prayer of consecration and dedication of Noel, Brandon Noel Keith Becker to the Lord. And so this is your papa, and so we're going to do like we do when we sit on the sofa. So let us pray, y'all. God, we thank you, we glorify you, we magnify you. Father, we exalt you. We thank you even before the beginning of time. You saw this day and you knew that Braylon would be born into this world. So we thank you. God, we thank you for her parents. We thank you for Brian and we thank you for Ariel too, for, for giving them the mind to dedicate this child, their child, back unto you. Father, we ask, oh God, that you give them the wisdom to raise uh, Braylon up in the fear and admonition of you. God, we pray that you will, oh God, pour out your spirit on their lives. And we pray that you will teach them your word, that they may teach Braylon. Father, we thank you for them presenting her back unto you. God, we thank you for Braylon. We thank you for protecting her in the womb. We thank you for protecting her and guiding her, oh God, through the birth canal and that Oh God, on that day in January of this year, God, you saw her and you brought her forth into this world, God. We thank you. Oh Father, now, right now, they present her back unto you. Oh God, we present her back unto you, Lord. Oh God, we ask, oh God, that your angels encamp around her. Lead her and guide her, even at an early age. Give her the notion to seek after you. Oh, Father, every life that should touch her life. Oh, God, we pray, oh, God, that your blood would cover her in every ill intent, in every mal intent, Father. Oh, God, let your blood prevail against the Lord. Oh, God, we pray that she will have good health. We pray that she will prosper and be in good health as her soul prospereth. Oh, God, we pray that you will save her at an early age. Fill her with the power of your Holy Spirit at an early age. Oh, God, when her parents and grandparents and caregivers are not around, oh, God, we ask, oh, God, that your angels will encamp around her. Protect her on the playground. Protect her in preschool. Protect her, oh, God, in kindergarten. Protect her, oh, God, even as her life should travel, Lord. Oh, God, we thank you, Lord. Oh, God, we bless your name for her. Oh, God, whatever the gifts and talents that you have, put in her. We pray, oh God, that she will realize it as an, at an early age, oh Father, and that she will use it for your glory. God, we know that the world that she shall grow up in will be different from this world, Father. Oh God, you told them to train her up in the way that she should go, but when she is older, she will not depart from it. Let your word be in her heart and mind early. Teach her your word. Teach the parents that they may teach her. Lord, let her feel your presence at an early age. Whatever the gifts that are in her, Lord. God, we pray that she will use it for your kingdom. Oh God, and when times come where she is tested, tempted, and tried, she will remember where her parents and grandparents have taught her. God, we thank you. We bless your name, Lord. Oh, God, cover her from illness, from infection, from viruses. God, even she 
Oh God, you was wounded for her transgressions. You was bruised for her iniquities. And the chastisement of her peace was upon you. And with your stripes, she's healed, Lord. God, we praise you. We glorify you, Lord. Jesus, we thank you for her life. We thank you for how you would use her. We thank you for how you would bless her. We thank you that every hand that should touch her should have good intentions, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we pray. And we dedicate her back to you. In Jesus' name, we pray. Let the Lord be praised. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Brandon Noel Keith, we bless you. Braden, Braylon Noel Keith, Braylon Noel Keith. Hallelujah, Lord, we thank you. Ariel and Brian, y'all raise her up in the fear and admonition of the Lord. It is not the church's responsibility. It is your responsibility to know the principles and precepts of the Lord that you learn in a place of worship and that you may teach it to her wherever she may go. And when that time comes when she may stray away from it, just remember that that same grace and that same mercy that's on y'all lives and that help y'all lives and cover your life will be the same grace and mercy that you will what? You will extend to her. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Amen.